Hi, I'm Sam Tucker from Google, and today we're so excited to show you four brand new products. Almost as excited as we were to suck them back down again. Ah, uh, what a tease. All right, let's start with the one you've all heard about, the Pixel 3. In fact, we address those product leaks that happened first thing by showcasing all the YouTubers who did videos on it. Except Sam. But yes, all those early images you saw were true. So unfortunately, today we have confirmed your worst notch man. People think aesthetics is making something pretty, and it's really not. But you're thinking about it all wrong. We didn't add a notch, we just stretched out the screen, like Lisa says. We've designed the Pixel 3 XL screen to extend all the way to the upper corners. That's right. All six of them. So we noticed in one of Will Smith's vlogs that he was having a bit of trouble getting everyone in the photo of that beautiful landscape because he wasn't holding it in landscape. Hmm, not the freshest anymore, are we? But rather than tell him, we installed a new wide angle camera that we're calling a group selfie cam so that you can take your groupies. What's that? You don't have any friends. That's all right, you can just install some with the new AR Iron Man or the This Is America emoji. Tell you what, it can actually look quite convincing, can't it? In fact, you probably didn't even notice, but the presenter in today's show was actually being projected from this guy's phone. Of course, the technology still isn't perfect. The white balance was a little bit different from last year. Continuing with photography, our Top Shot program is top sh because it can remove your crappy photo that you took and replace it with a stunner that Google took when you didn't know. Mm, and that's our favorite time to take photos. We're also using a pretty scientific technology of combining multiple photos to increase resolution when zooming in. That's right, the same tech that they used to see the surface of Mars is being used to really punch in on that woman's armpit. Mm. <sighs> I don't want to talk to anyone. Google, can you please hold my calls? Actually, Google, can you please answer my calls? That's right. If you're too busy having search queries auto-filled and email responses suggested to you, well, your phone can now answer itself. My God, it's like some sort of answering machine. Ah, except you get to see the conversation play out live and decide then and there whether to actually talk to the person, which means the person on the other end will know that you ignored them. Ah, no wonder our social network closed down. Moving on to the Google Home Hub. First of all, I want to reassure you that it's safe to have this telescreen in your home. Because unlike some of our privacy scandals in the past, like yesterday this model doesn't even have a camera i mean yes of course it does have a wi-fi mode in fact i think it even has a wife mode because as soon as you say something like good morning it'll just go on for 10 minutes about everything you gotta do that day good morning good morning mark the time is 9 a.m currently in san francisco it's 64 and sunny the best way to get to work by car is via us 101 take 45 minutes there are 11 entries in your calendar remember to pick up eggs for dinner oh and then later on when you want to say something it'll just ignore you hey google oh and then later when you just want to relax with some youtube it'll interrupt you and just watch what it wants to watch now hub hey google Show me how okay, to carve a pumpkin. Playing how to carve Halloween. Look, I'm not trying to generalize. Maybe it's just my wife. Here, I'll give her a call. Hello, I am Deborah's Google Assistant. <clears throat> uh, Deborah, it's Sam. Yes, and? Mm, I see. If you're having trouble with some of your family, apparently forgetting who you are, don't worry. The Hub can post photos of family to the home to help them remember. Here's a testimonial. So it's been really amazing. Every time I walk by Hub and see a photo of my son or husband that I've forgotten about, it brings a smile to my face. Yes, with live albums, the Hub's photo frame will update automatically, showcasing the latest photos taken on your phone while eliminating the blurry or poorly exposed shots, ensuring only your best nudes are there for everyone to see. There we go. Look, I'm just kidding. I don't actually have any of these connected devices in my house. 
Many people have connected devices in their homes today and they don't even know it. Let's move on. Finally, the all new Pixel Slate. Yeah, we're not really the best at naming things. Uh, to tell you more, please welcome Trond. Thanks, Rick. No, it's Sam, a real person's name. Ah, look, sorry, I didn't mean that. I just need to relax. Luckily, the Pixel Slate has a new split screen feature for times when one eye wants to have fun and the other one wants to work. Oh yeah, this is multitasking at its healthiest. If you do just want to watch one thing at once, the Slate has dual front firing speakers, sending sound directly to your face, instead of away towards the walls like the Google Home Hub. Ah, oh, whoops. It runs a very capable Chrome OS, which allows for everyone's favorite Linux applications. But if you thought that was intense, you should have heard when we announced the new portrait mode. The crowd went wild. So you can take great photos, including portrait mode. We've also- The all new Google things. We're answering the call. And taking the photos and sending the emails. Hmm, maybe our phone needs a phone. Subscribe today. Punk it down. Ah, uh, dang it. Hang on. Is Deborah even real? Maybe I don't actually work for all these companies. I don't know what to believe anymore. Oh, hey everyone, quick, subscribe and share before I sick a bunch of kids on a poor old man. Boys, we gotta back up just a little bit. Back up. 